we've been talking about scale a lot today, and scale as it relates to online versus television, one of the reasons why our CPMs are high is there's a dearth of inventory that's premium, quote unquote, premium inventory on a destination site, a domain site, what I would call a domain site. Um, so, you know, the challenges that are outlined, that were outlined before, you know, about some of the things that we go through with the embedded player, for example, it's all about thresholds, right? So if you put a 30 second ad, we talked about it, someone brought it up earlier, put a 30 second ad in front of a one minute clip and you don't have control over that kind of distribution about what kind of content you're gonna be seeing after that ad, you get into a lot of problems with that distribution mechanism and how you can grow that traffic. We do about 200 million video streams a month on the site, but we also, through the distribution mechanism, do another 10 to 20 million probably off-site. So that's grown quite a bit. We've, we've seen that embedded player actually grow quite a bit. The challenge right now is how do we monetize it? Like you were saying, Andy, we're experimenting with 15 second, exclusively 15s and not 30s. Um, I think thresholds are gonna become much more interesting and much more important as we go forward. A lot of people are starting to experiment with much longer advertising pods on their site on domains where they do control the video consumption. They can do time-based ad serving like we do and things like that. I think that becomes much more interesting because I think consumers are much more adept at actually viewing video and being willing to watch a little bit more in the commercial space um, than we think they are. So Ed, you work with publishers, I, I, know, I believe with MSNBC on their uh, embeddable play, or you had, or whatever, but what is the opportunity in this syndicated world uh, to, mm -hmm. to monetize video without like upsetting other places, or what's the scenario, what's the strategy around advertising a, in, a, in a syndicated world? It's a, it's a delicate balance. Um, the, the publisher, without a doubt, wants to syndicate. Um, these guys are all talking about the value of syndication. Yeah. It's undoubtedly valuable. The difficulty is that advertisers don't necessarily want you to syndicate um, unless they have visibility into where you're syndicating um, and is it a brand safe environment to them. I mean, advertisers, especially in the video world, think TV. I think I'm buying Lost and the demographic of Lost, and that's what I want. So with syndication, what you need to do is you need to create a brand set safe syndication network. And you need some technology that will report back to the advertiser, this is a brand safe um, environment for you. So what is the page context that the embedded player is on? What is the ad um, or the, the video content? Um, where is that embeddable player on the page? The, we call that viewport detection. Mm -hmm. All these things are very important to an advertiser, and you need to pr pr provide back to the advertiser or report back to the advertiser this environmental information. It's like a remote sensor network. Um, and that's part of what Yumi's technology does for both publishers and for advertisers.